On Christmas Eve, 1914, English and German troops ceased fire and sang together. I was not there. <laughs> but amidst a bloody and confusing war, there was a powerful moment of harmony, a connective moment of these opposing forces becoming allies in song. When the world feels darkest in times of war or even just after a really tough day, we each, all of us, have access to an instrument that we can use to bring us closer to the people around us, our voice. Take, for example, the sports fans who, in the wake of the Paris terror attacks, rose from bandstands across Europe, singing the French national anthem together in an act of solidarity. In fact, there is no human culture that doesn't sing. Across the world, across the ages, people have united in song. And it's this connective power that makes singing so powerful. We are Anna and Emily, and about eight years ago, we moved to London and into a student house share together. Very quickly, we realised that we both love to sing show tunes. <laughs> so, to uh, unwind from a day of studying, we would sing together around my piano. Bad days were just made better by singing, and good days were made even more awesome. So, we could have chosen to sing alone in our own rooms, but one, that wouldn't have been as fun, and two, we'd have had nothing to talk about today. So, instead, Inspired by the relationship that we'd made over a piano, we started up Styling Arts in 2010 so that we could sing and connect with thousands more people too. People who live, work or study in the same place but barely know each other's names. People who haven't sung since their school assembly or don't even think they can. We decided no auditions, no competitions, just people singing together. And we continue to see the connected power of group singing time and again in our work with schools, businesses and our community of choirs here in London. And to best illustrate this, we wanted to share with you a few of the stories from that community today. So a few years ago, I met up with Alex, an old friend of mine from university. Here he is. What a babe. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alex was, at the time, by his own admission, depressed and a little bit lost. So, over a Brick Lane curry, I suggested that he join one of the choirs we had started. Now, my reasons for this were twofold. Firstly, to be completely honest with you, we needed more boys. I should explain that choirs always need more boys. It's true. Apply within traps. Um, but secondly, and more importantly, I knew that what Alex would benefit from most was a community. So Alex got himself singing back on his feet and has since told us that that first term of choir was like a therapy he didn't realise he needed. And it's no wonder when we consider that singing, just like exercise, releases endorphins. And that release, when done in the company of others, is proven time and again to boost mental health. Married with his new sense of belonging in this community, it was the perfect recipe for well-being. Earlier this year, in our fifth anniversary concert, Alex took to the stage with a, a Bon Jovi classic <laughs> and uh, wrote in the programme notes for that show that in choir he had found a group of people free of pretense, a group that doesn't care about your status, your wealth or your background. For two hours, nothing else matters. Take yourself out of your life and let the music fill you up. So you guys were like a love story, right? So, we want to introduce you to Stephen. There he is, with a red circle around his face. Silver fox. Um, so, St Stephen's a gas fitter and he has an amazing rock voice. And uh, there is Hannah. There she is. She's a primary school teacher and she's one of our sopranos. And Stephen and Hannah met in our choir community. And it was through a shared experience of rehearsals and performance, just like this one, that a relationship blossomed. And earlier this year, Stephen and Hannah got married. Yay! <laughs> there we are at the wedding. And that's not the only musical romance we know about, is it, Emily? It's not. 
I too met my husband while singing. And everyone asked me this. Yes, we did sing at the wedding. Hey. Here we are. <laughs> um, and as Anna says, singing makes a good day even more awesome. And um, if you don't believe that, just look at my ridiculously <laughs> happy face. Yeah. Um, but when I look at this and I think about how I'd met my husband, which was also over a piano, because apparently that's how I make all of my friends, <laughs> I can see that there's something in singing that makes us more trusting, more open, intimate even. And I think that's a pretty good place to start with a relationship. Absolutely. Um, a few years ago, we set up a musical theatre summer school as part of our work with young people. And in through the door came this bundle of gorgeous energy, Shah. Now, at the time, Shah really struggled with reading and also had a significant stammer. But through singing and performing within the support of his community, he was able to master lines such as, they don't come as aesthetically challenged as me. That is quite tricky to say at the best of times, let alone if you have a stammer. A few years on, here's Shah as the lead in a musical that Emily and I wrote last year, belting out the high notes, milking every comedic line for all it's worth, because singing amazingly and performing helps him mask his stammer and he's been able to continue to share his incredible talents not just within the Starling Arts community but further afield. We couldn't be more proud. Next up this is Becky, the lovely Becky and this photo was taken at one of our concerts just a few months before Becky was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma which is a cancer of the lymphatic system. And while Becky was preparing herself for her first chemotherapy session, her choir got together wondering what they could do to help. They wanted to find a way to raise enough money so that Becky could go to and from her treatments in the comfort of a taxi. So what did they do? They started baking and they sold the cakes that they made at rehearsals and performances and they called this Cakes for Cabs. And uh, thousands of cakes later, and this is one of our favourite ones Just that we to need to show out. you. This is Miley Cyrus atop an edible wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spherical cakes are hard. Um, and after this, Becky received the all clear. There are hundreds of communities, thousands of communities like this all over the world, with tens of thousands of choirs in the UK alone, and 37 million choral singers in Europe. But as impressive as all those millions of singers sound, in England, only 3.3% of people have sung in a group within the last year. And we think the other 96.7% are missing out on a good thing. <coughs> so. Have they guessed yet? I think they might have. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the audience and anyone watching this online, it is time to sing. All right, everyone up out of your seats and start to have a shake around. Get those TEDx ideas moving, inspiring you. And I want you to have a wave. Wave to someone across the room. Say hello. Hello. And if you're single, blow someone a kiss. You might end up married too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, follow me. Arms up in the air. Arms down low. Give it a shimmy. <laughs> and now shake your booty. That's just for fun. <laughs> All right, circle those shoulders round and back. Nice big circles. And now reverse it, go the other way. Very nice, they're good, aren't they? They are. All right, we're going to lift our shoulders up to our ears. We're going to breathe in and then we're going to sigh together. <sighs> now we're going to do that twice as loud. Go. <sighs> <sighs> See, they're already making music. Hey. <laughs> um, let's repeat after me. Sing. 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 Get the hands involved. Sing. 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 Amazing. Now, sing. 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 I think they're ready. Yeah. They're ready. Okay, guys. We've chosen a little Whitney Houston classic for you all. <laughs> oh, yeah. But we've slightly tweaked the words to make them a little bit more themed to today's TEDx event. I want to dance with somebody is becoming... I want to sing with somebody. <laughs> I want to feel the beat with somebody. Yeah, I want to sing with somebody, with somebody who loves me. I can't think of a better message about life, really. So um, before we begin, let's just see uh, what everyone here knows of this tune. Does everyone know the original? Yeah. Get those soon. arms down by your sides, open out, just smile. Here we go. I'll 
some harmony. Uh, so uh, you guys over here, I want you to just hum this note for me. Mm. Very good. You guys over here, mm, or mm, down here if you're a gentleman or a slightly lower woman. <laughs> here we go. Mm. Great. You guys in the middle. Nice, let's have all three of those notes together on an almighty O. Oh. So we've got O, oh, O, oh, O. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Do you have a as well? Oh. Gospel it up. Amazing. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we're going to teach some little harmony parts here. So you guys over here, I want you to sing the following. Oh, just listen to me first. Oh, I want to sing with somebody. I want to feel the beat with somebody. Yeah, I want to sing with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Let's give that a try. Here we go. I'll sing with you. Two, three, four. Oh, I want to sing with somebody. Woo! I want to feel the beat with somebody. Yeah, I want to sing with somebody. With somebody who loves me again. Oh, I want to sing with somebody. I want to feel the beat with somebody. Yeah, I want to sing with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Fantastic. Give them a round of applause. Woo -woo. You guys in the middle are going to stick with the tune that we tried earlier. So let's try that on top of this, just like Miley Cyrus. And, and I'm going to sing board. with you, and Anna's going to sing with these guys. Here we go. I want to sing. Oh, I want to sing. Oh, I want to sing. Two, three, four. Oh, I want to sing with somebody. Yeah. I want to feel the beat with somebody. Yeah. I want to sing with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Woo! Awesome. What did you think over here? Woo. Were they good? <laughs> Two part harmony down. Let's add in the third part. So you guys over here, ladies and gents, are going to be singing this. Oh, I want to sing with somebody. I want to feel the beat with somebody. Yeah, I want to sing with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Let's give that a try. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Let's just hum that note. Oh. Very good. Here we go. Two, three, four. Oh, I want to sing with somebody. I want to feel the beat with somebody. Yeah, I want to sing with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Again. Oh, I want to sing with somebody. I want to feel the beat with somebody. Yeah, I want to sing with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Yeah. Round of applause, Give it up. guys with the tune on so, so we've and got you guys can mouth this along oh, with some Whitney Diva hands oh over here oh over here let's just sing those notes again oh. with the hands as well I'm gonna sing with you team <laughs> Emily's gonna sing with you guys here we go two three four. Oh, oh, I want to sing with somebody yeah I want to feel the beat with somebody yeah, I want to sing with somebody, with somebody who loves me. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys 
always remember what you were doing. <laughs> oh, I want to sing with somebody. It should sort of make harmonic sense from there. Let's try all three parts again. So we've got, oh, let me hear that no. Oh. and has also, have also released the chemical oxytocin, the same thing released during childbirth and sex. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but more than that, you have created something together. You have become a community. And in our technological world, the time that we spend in the presence of other people matters more than ever. And singing is the way that we make these moments as meaningful, as connective, and most of all, as fun as possible. And every time we sing with a new group, we're reminded that whatever else is going on in the world, good or bad, singing makes it better. Singing is an invitation to share in something, something rich, powerful, and meaningful enough to change your life. And sometimes, with a little help from your friends, the world around you. Thank you. Thank you.